Hi mates and welcome back to my oldest tanks channel. I'm Anton off to as usual and today I've got something really special lined up for you guys because this year is finally the winner of our 1k subscriber replay contest and uh, this lucky guy is going to win either a tier 8 premium tank of his choice or 10,000 gold. So yeah, he, he is, you know, really lucky and um, this year actually is Titan who uh, interestingly also what, uh, won the third place in this competition so uh, yeah well done Titan but you know I don't want to spoil anything in advance this is an awesome game and let's just have a look how it turns out so he's playing as Chaffee on mines and straight away he's heading out to the central hill which anybody would really do in the Chaffee however he takes a really big hit from a KV-1S leaving him on quite low health actually uh, right at the beginning of the game. So this puts him in kind of a tricky situation. Now, luckily for the Chaffee, this is really good matchmaking because uh, the Chaffee can get thrown into tier 10 games. But, um, yeah, he's in a tier 8 game, so that's quite good. And really, you wouldn't expect the Chaffee to win this competition because usually, like, tier 7 and 8 tanks uh, tend to get the most experience on average. But, um, yeah, this guy, he did really well. So, he's engaging at AMX 12T, which is quite tricky because usually in a one-on-one -on -one with a chaff in AMX 12T, the AMX 12T will usually come out on top because he's got an autoloader. But Titan was able to kind of tweak the engagement to his favor and thus win it. Now, of course, he had support from that T29 for IS3, but still, that was quite a, a dangerous situation, especially... Uh, especially considering that Titans on very low health here. So straight away we can see the scores two, 2 to 1. So uh, enemy team's down one tank. And now he's going to reverse out of cover back here to start to work these enemy tanks behind the hill and straight away picks up a kill and what you see Titan doing is he keeps on swapping between the uh, T69 at the front of the hill and all those enemies behind it uh, so that if as soon as like they notice that he's there and they start uh, turning their guns towards him then he draws back into cover and engages for other enemies and then uh, that way he can just you know really first of all irritate them and then do lots of damage in the long term as well. So this IS uh, this KV1S has already noticed him, but his turret traverse is quite slow. So that's why he doesn't quite get the shot off and that allows Titan to put three shots into the KV1S. Now the Chaffee has got actually quite a nasty gun because it's it's got really high DPM, quite good penetration for its tier. Actually this is probably one of the best guns at tier five. And uh you can see Titan really, really using this gun uh, very, very well. Now, um, I personally, I'm not very good at playing the Chaffee because it's just, it's kind of like a T21. If you saw my T21 review, you'll know that I really hated the T21. And I don't like the Chaffee either, but uh, obviously Titan is really good in this tank. And, um, yeah, you can see that this Chaffee, uh, this game is actually 8.11, so it was before the 9.0 patch in which the top turret of the Chaffee was changed. Now, with a high roll, you could take out the KV-1S, but uh, the KV-1S gets taken out before you can get the shot off. Now, what I was saying just there on uh, the topic of the turret of the uh, Chaffee was that it was changed in 9.0, so this is still the old turret. And, oh my gosh, Titan gets really lucky there, setting the T-32 on fire, who apparently doesn't have a fire extinguisher anymore, or maybe just forgets to use it, or just thinks his crew will extinguish it in time. And uh, it does, but it leaves him on very, very low health. So that was quite lucky for Titan, but, you know, he was firing up the engine deck, so that was also well played. And now this IS-3 rushes in to take the position on which his pal just died. Is that so wise? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, he misses, or he just misses the opportunity to get shots of the IS-3. And now he figures that the IS-3 is probably going to be coming up on this hill. And he knows that the IS-3 knows his last position where he killed the T-32. So he's changing his position where the IS-3 won't expect him. And his plan works out because he gets one shot into the IS-3, his second shot bounces, and then he has to retreat because he 
the IS-3 is turning around. But that was quite well played there because he predicted the move of the IS-3 and uh, yeah, managed to damage the IS-3 which kind of gave him an advantage. Still uh, really a one-on-one -on -one against an IS-3, the M24 would lose most of the time. Uh, that's why there's a T-28 prototype coming in to help him. And uh, uh, let's see if Titan can use his teammate. Well, if that, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, let's see if he can work together with him, that's better. So, um, yeah, the prototype's pushing around, it looks like the IS-3 is running from the prototype, but the uh, T-28 gets a nice shot into the IS-3. So, the base is being capped, and the score is 10 to 11, so the odds are really not looking that good. Because really, uh, the enemy team's got one tank more anyway, then they've got a tier 8 tank more, and they've, they're up one tier 7 tank as well. So, uh, yeah, really, it looks like the enemy team's winning. Now, we can see that the IS-3 drove off the central hill, running from the prototype. And now Titan decides to go after him, it seems. Tries to use his bush location to spot the IS-3. He does, but it looks like he was spotted as well. The IS-3 draws in cover, and there's the Crusader self-propelled gun. Now, uh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like, the, oh, the Crusader fires, Titan retreats, and the Crusader barely misses him, okay, that was really lucky. So, uh, after that, after his first shot missed, Titan puts in a second shot, securing the kill on the SP. So, he's on three kills now, but the cap count is up to 50%, so somebody should start making a move towards the cap slowly. Now, uh, we don't know where that IS-3 went to, we know that the IS-6 is on the 2 line, but we don't know where the Jacks and the SU-12244 are. Now the SU-12244 was last spotted on the 8 line, like B8. So it's quite likely that he went into the cap. Or maybe it's the Jackson, we're not sure. But really, yeah, I'd say it's the SU. So the IS-3 goes up onto the central hill again. So this is, I think this is the first time in the game that Titan decides to drive off the hill. And... Um, because he just realizes that on a one-on-one -on -one in kind of this kind of territory or terrain, he won't be able to win against the IS-3 usually. Now the T-28 made a push towards the cap. Uh, however, now he's sandwiched in between the Jackson and the IS-3. Actually, we were wrong because it turned out that the Jackson was capping, not the SU. Uh, get a shot to the rear of IS-3. And, oh yeah, really good. We got the second shot in before the IS-3 managed to get down the hill so that was really well played. Uh, so the T28 is kind of chasing chasing that Jackson although yeah, it's difficult to say chasing when you're talking about the T28 prototype because you know really uh, <laughs> you know T28 hasn't really got the speed to chase anything. So now nah, the score's 12 to 11 now but still you know things are Really, the odds are still stacked against Titan here because the enemies are still up one tier eight tank and we've got a tier seven tank, and uh, Titan team has only got an R2. Now, really, I mean, of course, the R2 just got a kill, but really, maybe in an end game situation, I'd probably rather have an actual tank than an R2. Now, right there, the Lorraine destroyed the IS6, so now things are looking a lot better. But suddenly, the T28 prototype gets taken out by the SU-12244, and all things are looking really bad, because it's a tier 8 and a tier 7 tank against a tier 7 RT, a tier 6 tank, and a tier 5 light. So, really, uh, Titan has to really do something now to uh, decide this game in his favour. Now, we can see that the VK-3601H is pushing along the north, so I'm not sure what Titan's doing here, uh, kind of rock climbing. <laughs> But then he decides to, I mean the cap counts at 16%, 17% now, so they've got loads of time. Uh, now, we know now that the SU-12244 is in the cap because the IS-3 is outside, so it must be the SU capping. Now, this is a really good situation because uh, Titan and Ugly, with an H, uh, <laughs> I've got that IS-3 sandwiched in between them. So that's some really good teamwork here. And while this IS-3 is focusing on the VK, Titan has got his rear. And, oh my, look at that, <laughs> he gets his second engine fire. 
and manages to get his full Was it in a second? I'll explain to you what he did here. Now, um, what he actually did is because after you kill an enemy, you still remain spotted for a few seconds. So he knew that the SU-102 was probably watching their icons on the minimap. So what he did is he made it look like he was going along this way, and then after a few seconds when he was sure that his icon wasn't being lit up on the minimap anymore, he turned around and started going along this way. So that means the last thing what the SU-102 44 saw was his minimap icon moving in this direction. So the SU-12244 will probably be thinking that uh, Titan is going round here and is trying to advance to the cap circle from the south, but what he's actually doing is coming from the north. So that's a really good method to surprise your enemies, and you can really use that in an endgame situation especially to decide the game in your favour. And uh, yeah, that's definitely a tactic that uh, you can learn to take the gameplay to a new level. So. Uh, the VK is closing in from uh, the left and the Chaffee Titan here is going wide but the SU-122 predicts that and fires a shot off, luckily he misses otherwise that would have been the end of Titan right there. Titan bounces off the SU-122's quite trollish frontal armour. Now the SU-122 is facing in Titan's way so Titan has to run for it and this was really close around that corner so really this is just very very touch and go here. Uh, he gets another shot in, however that bounces again, another shot, doesn't bounce, now can the VK finish him off? Uh, Titan's just about to go around, but the VK gets him and then the RT also gets a hit in at the end. So, you know, there's me saying that uh, RT is not important in endgame situations and that just proved the... The contrary, because you know, if VK had missed a shot or bounced or whatever, then the RT would have finished off the SU 12244. So, yeah, well played to the RT, he picked up four kills at Lorraine. But you know, this is not about RT, this is about Titan, uh, who seems to be quite a beast in his M24 Shafi, and he managed to win this 1k subscriber replay contest. So, congratulations to you, Titan. This was an amazing game, I really enjoyed to watch it. I hope you guys did too. And uh, let's check out the post-game stats to see how well exactly Titan did. So here are the results of that game. We can see that Titan managed to pick up 117,214 credits and a ridiculous amount of experience, 10,062 XP. And actually, you'd probably think that was for an event, event with a times five experience multiplier going on, but actually, it was only times three. So that just gives you an idea of how well Titan performed. That obviously was enough to get him his ace tanker badge and high caliber. In the team score we can see he managed to pick up <laughs> 2097 base experience, which was the most experience of any of the replays which was submitted to this replay contest. That's, that's why he won the competition. He dealt out quite a lot of damage actually, the most on his team, and also picked up the most kills on his team together with the Lorraine. Uh, on the enemy team we can see that actually the Jackson, the M36 slugger here, did quite well. He actually was the best player on the enemy team, considering that he was a tier 6 tank in a tier 8 match. Yeah, well done. Except for him though, there wasn't anybody who really stood out on the enemy team. Titan, however, fired 33 shots, of which 32 hit and 24 penned, allowing him to do a total of 3644 damage. He received one hit that obviously also penetrated, that was hit from the IS and the IS, uh, not the IS, the KV1S, sorry, and he got his exact average damage roll of 390 into Titan. Uh, Titan actually didn't spot any enemies, which is quite interesting, but he damaged 8, destroyed 4, and also picked up nearly 700 spotting damage, which actually is not that much. And so really the lion's share of that experience came from the damage that Titan did. He also travelled 4.5 clicks, and you know, just look at the ridiculous amount of credits and experience that he got. So, um, great game Titan, I really loved watching that, I hope you guys did too. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up below, or even subbing to my channel. And, uh... You Titan will be receiving a reward of either 10,000 gold or T8 premium tank of your choice. I'll be communicating to you in an email again, as I already did when you won the third prize. And um, 
if you guys enjoyed this and you would like to see more contests like this or events similar like to, similar to this one then please rate this video down below as well because that really helps me to just decide what kind of content you really like thanks for watching as usual i hope i see you in one of my next videos or maybe even for battlefield and bye bye